Two at 11 for you. They are the future in health care. The newest graduates in the class of 2023. Mercy College of Ohio holding its commencement ceremony earlier this evening. Chase Bachman was there. He spoke with a few of those graduates. And Chase, what did they learn in talking with them tonight? Or what did you learn about them? Well, Jeff, all these students took different roads to get here, but almost all of them are staying in the area to work full time. And pretty soon they'll be saving lives. It was a higher power that got foreign exchange student Mila Buria across the Mercy College graduation stage Friday night. There was a point there, just me and God, that's all. But I'm really grateful for that journey because by walking, looking like I'm walking by myself, but honestly, it was not by myself, it was his guidance. Mila is a Ukrainian and came to the U.S. with no friends or family, just wanting an education. But she says this degree isn't about what she wants, but what she feels is needed. More than 200 graduates who answered that call also walked across the stage at the Peristyle Friday night. The American Hospital Association says since the pandemic, the healthcare field lost about 20% of its workforce. Fellow nursing graduate Jamie Rand says Mercy College gave her an experience unlike anything else. And working in medicine is about loving what you do. It's a passion for sure. Um, you don't go into it thinking of money or anything like that. So if you find a love for it, definitely stick with it. It's become one of my favorite things. The ceremony also included the first class of physician's assistants to graduate from the school. Regina Tan and 18 others will leave school with their masters. We've become kind of like a family with the faculty and it's just really enjoyable to watch how we kind of shaped the class and shaped how the program is going to go towards in the future. But for Mila, this degree is about more than just a job. It's about a need. Don't look for what you want, but look for what you meant. And the physician's assistants will officially finish up their programs in August, and after that, it's on to the next chapter of their lives. Reporting in studio tonight, Chase Bachman, WTOL 11.